Hey there, welcome to Beer in Canada. I'm Chris, I'm your host here and editor of the beerincanada.ca site. It's been a long time since we did a video, actually over two years since we last uh, shot a video. But uh, here I am again, hoping to get this back off the ground. We're no longer coming to you from Ajax, Ontario, which was Beer in Canada HQ up until about a year and a half ago, which point uh, I moved. I'm now coming to you just north of 60 in a little community called Fort Smith in the Northwest Territories. Uh, the beer community is a little bit different here. There's no, actually not a single brewery in the Northwest Territories. The only brewery in Canada north of 60 is actually in Whitehorse in the Yukon. However, we do still get our share of craft brews up from, uh, usually coming out of Edmonton, which is where we, uh, we get our distribution from. Now, the beer I'm going to talk about today, though, did not come from them because I don't believe they have yet to get Western distribution. However, everyone in Ontario is likely very familiar with Muskoka Brewery and Mad Tom IPA. Uh, this is first came out a couple of years ago in uh, May 2011. And since then, actually, they've been doing quite well with the beer and have launched even Double Mad Tom, which I believe launched about a year and a half or so ago. Now, actually probably just, just before I, uh, I moved to, uh, to the Northwest Territories. Now, when it first came out, it was, of course, on drafting in, in bottles, but they've since also released a 473 milliliter can, which is what we're going to be ch sampling today. This came from Ontario the other day when uh, someone brought it to me from Ottawa, actually. Now, uh, now Mad Tom is, a, is an IPA, so I mean, there's a lot of hops packed into this. It's, uh, pretty much all Chinook and Centennial hops, so typically, if I, if I, as I recall, it had a lot of floral notes and some citrus kind of running through it as well. So let's uh, let's open this up and give it a shot. See here, the clarity of course is spectacular. And kind of a golden yellow color with, oh yeah, it's a beautiful foamy white head. And the bubbles are just kind of, you probably can't really see it very well, but the bubbles are just streaming up from uh, the sides of the glass. Now that is a beautiful looking beer, just a little bit of chill haze on it. I think uh, it might have been just a little too cold in the, in the fridge. But otherwise a very clear looking now beer. Now we'll take a look at this. Uh, nice big foamy whitehead. And uh, yeah, that's a fair bit of hops in that. That's very floral, a little bit, little bit grassy. And definitely some citrus in there. Grapefruit. Now this is uh, pretty much what you expect from a West Coast IPA. Of course, it's made in Ontario. But well, let's give it a shot. Hmm. That is an incredibly hoppy beer. Also a very tasty beer. This, <clears throat> all the the grapefruit and citrus uh, hops really come out. Very nice in this. Complements it by a little bit of uh, malty sweetness, a little bit of caramel in there. Uh, it has a dry finish. Uh, there's a fair bit of bitterness as well, but this is a, a really nice IPA. Now I'm cheating a little bit here. Of course, I've had this before. Uh, when I lived in Ontario, this was a, a common purchase, but I realize we've actually never reviewed it here on Beer in Canada. As for the, the rank of this beer, if you recall correctly from previous videos, we, uh, we judge on a, on a five point basis, one being really bad, terrible beer, five being probably one of the top beers that you'll be able to drink. Bad Tom ranks for me way up there. Look at that lacing too, that's really nice. Very, very beautiful beer. And for Mad Tom, it ranks way up there. This is, this is easily a, a four and a half for me. So, for those of you in Ontario or wherever else you can get it, Cheers! Enjoy, uh, enjoy Mad Tom. Alright, I hope to see you again here soon on Beer in Canada.